Hey, what's up guys? This is Tom from Chalk5. Welcome back to a, I guess, a new series. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, it's a free game on the App Store, right? And, uh, I was going to say right now. And, um, I've been playing it for quite some time. And it's a really good game. I mean, like, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh!, you're going to love this. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to, uh, just go through my deck a second. Uh, deck editor. They've added like some new things recently. So, always improving it by the look of it. They've just added like one of the newer Yu Gi Oh's that I don't really know about. I only know about the OG. Um, but yeah, I've got a replay from a video or duel that I did like yesterday. And it's really good. And I was really hoping to like show that one because I saved it. So, that's what we're going to do in a second. Um, just want a quick rundown. This is my deck, as you can see. It's mainly like a blue eyes, white dragon deck. Um, and I guess dragon in general, but it's kind of focused around like the blue eyes. Um, purely because this card. <laughs> I love it. Blue eyes, shining dragon. Look how mint he looks. I mean, on the stats, he looks pretty much the same. But if you read his effect, uh, he actually gains. What is it? 300 attack for each dragon type monster in your graveyard. So at the end of a long duel, his attack goes way higher than 3,000. It's usually around 5,000 odd. Um, and then I've got these in my extra deck. This one's awesome. The five-headed dragon. That was in the first series, if you remember it. Super powerful. And actually not that hard to get when you've got, like, all dragons. Um, you only need to get a... What is it? A polymerization. So there you go. And I did have these other cards in here when... But I think I've changed it recently. I did have like one of the fusion material monsters uh, that like substitutes another one. That's if you know anything about this game. Anyway, if not, <laughs> don't worry about it because I'm just going to show you this awesome duel and kind of talk to you about what's going on uh, with me in general, I guess. So how do I actually do this? Friend duel, duel replays. Booyah. Uh, Seto Kaiba versus Seto Kaiba from, what was that, quarter nine? Last night, I think it was. I've just dated this video. <laughs> so, I'm going to play this now, and then we'll just... I don't know. I guess it just plays like a normal duel. So, we'll just see what happens. It's pretty sweet. If you guys if you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh, like I said, then this is awesome. This is the game for you. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, what's been happening with me... Uh, last time, like, I haven't recorded for ages. And last time I, I did, it was just a quick update saying that I wanted to return to making videos... And I didn't really get the chance. I, I did film a video in ARC, but it was terrible. I, did, I couldn't remember any of the controls. and it, like Nothing happened. Like I didn't have a plan to do anything in the video. So it, it was terrible, and I, I just deleted it. Um, and then I went to record something else, and I, don't, I think that was terrible as well. So that was about it. And then after that... Uh, oh, these are the, the skills, by the way, the peak performance. It adds that, like, field card mounting. This is pretty sweet. I can move around still. There can only be one winner when you're looking at it. Uh, right. So, yeah. Like I was saying, I went to, like, record some videos and then... They, they just didn't really work. So, I got rid of them. And I've been too busy lately to actually record anything for a long time. And it's been really hot over the summer as well. So, I just didn't feel like it. Um... But now it's like winter and work's like slowed down. I've actually got a couple days where I'm free. I'm going to try and record some videos. But I'm not going to do like ARC and that. I'm just literally going to play games that I want. Whether they're on mobile. Uh, mobile being my iPad. Or if they're actually on PlayStation. In which case I'll go back to them. Um, and also if there's any videos that you guys request because I did have a request for like the next video that I'm gonna film and uh, again it's on the iPad and um, that's what you're gonna see hopefully next this this is hopefully gonna come out today I'm gonna literally just film this now and upload it hopefully just trying to get back into the swing of things um, as you can see in this video I was just gonna like attack then and he changed my attack so I couldn't do it and it, that's why. I, I did wonder that, because of that Exploder Dragon, which has an effect, which is really good. Um, I have used it quite a few times, but I've changed my... Anyway, he destroyed my spirit of 
white dragon, whatever it is. Dragon Spirit of White Mint. Uh, it's actually a really good card. You'll see how useful it comes in later on. But that card with the, the soldier one. Oh, he's got a heretic dragon. Uh, which is going to get killed. It's got a really cool effect, but you won't get to see it in this video, so never mind. You might know it already. Let me know in the comments below if you guys, I guess, watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Did you collect the cards? Did you, uh, have you played the game even? Let me know in the comments below. And if there are any videos that you guys want to watch, um, you know, because you want me to make them or whatever reason, just let me know in the comments below and I'm going to try my best to do them. Probably not going to play Ark for a while because... I don't know, I'm just not sort of in the mood. Um, and like, I don't know the controls and stuff. And that'd be like a whole thing having to learn it. That's why I've been kind of tempted to... Um, to just go back and play games that I want to play when I want to play them. I'm not going to do like a whole series thing. So, yeah. It's kind of my plan. So as you can see there, that dragon white spirit, whatever it is. <laughs> when you spawn it, whether it's normal or special summon, you actually get to like destroy one of your opponent's uh, spell or trap cards. And I luckily destroyed that wall of distribution because that's a super powerful card. But yeah, if you guys want to, uh, if you will, guys want to see more of this video, then I'll, I'll make a part two. I actually tried to film this a long time ago, and uh, I don't know, it just it it wasn't good. I don't know why a lot of my videos, they just end up not very good. That's how it goes. Um, just going to record it. Great. So yeah, now he's used a polymerization. So you're going to see some pretty powerful cards straight away. This is turn 8, so it's actually it's going on a bit. But I think it's, it's going to go on a lot longer. So Thunder Dragon. Again, it's really strong because we've both got these mountain... Uh, spell cards and uh, I can't remember what happens here all right destroys my spirit dragon again it's annoying but honestly this this is one hell of a duel so right enemy controller that's a good card again you can either take control of one of their cards by sacrificing one of your own or you could just change like you could just change the card from attack to defense Again, you might know these things, but I'll just explain it anyway. So, right, what I'm doing here is I was letting him attack that so that I could then say, right, I've got a blue eyes white dragon. Because that's what that card does. It, it says that if sent to the graveyard, you can add one straight from the deck to your hand. So, with that in mind, the plan is falling into place. Okay. So, birthright. Which allows me to summon a normal monster from the graveyard. And Spirit of White Dragon, when it's in the graveyard or in your hand, it's considered or it's classed as a normal monster. So, boom. It's back. And the effect takes place because I've, uh, because I've just summoned it. So, once again, although if it didn't stop them from actually using it, if, they, if need be. But I'm so glad because that's such a powerful card. That's super rush. So, right, I cannot attack, not that I would, but I cannot attack that Thunder Dragon now with any light monsters and like all these blue eyes cards, they're all light. So, can't attack him, but I did attack that Komodo Dragon, thankfully he didn't have any dragons, so we obviously couldn't spawn them, spawn them, summon them, <laughs> um, but now he's going to attack me, but I think... Yes, enemy controller. So I can actually change his attack into like a defense position monster. And his defense is only 2,500, so we can actually attack him now. But he has got another card face down, so let's just see. Right, Dragon Ice, that's a really cool card. But boom, he's dead. Right, cool. That's it. That's all I can do for now. Dragon of Ice, it actually, it's a... Five stars, so I need to actually, um, what is it, you need to tribute a monster to summon that, because it's too high a level, and Kyberman instantly allows you to summon a blue eyes white dragon, that sucks, but, um, I'll play the, the clip, in case you guys haven't seen this, 
because it is pretty awesome. So he's the first one to do a summon of blue eyes. Look at this. Man, I love the blue eyes so much. I loved it in the cartoon. I think he looks a bit weird in that computerized thing, but in the cartoon they always look so cool. And they made such a like cool noise, like roar, <laughs> whatever you call it. Okay, so my uh, card activated, which was Hang on. So I activate the quick spell as well, which stops the blue eyes from attacking. So he can he can't attack for the rest of the duel with that blue eyes. As long as it's alive, he can't attack with it. Good thing as well because he activated that metal morph, which would have absolutely destroyed me. Um, but at the same time, I special summon this monster, this dragon of ice or ice dragon, whatever it is. Uh, because it, it's got this cool effect where if they special summon a card, you can discard a card and summon that card. And it, that even works in the graveyard. But the good thing is when it's in your hand, discard it and it will self-summon. So it's really cool, like you don't have to waste a card. Okay, so he's just activated this spell card. And I've activated my dragon... Uh, dragon spirit. Which allows me to summon a blue eyes. Ba-boom. I'll just skip that. And I've also got this other card. See, look how strong his blue eyes is now. But he cannot attack. Because I think that equip card is like increases his attack. Yeah. Uh, Wall of Distribution now I've got. I need to put that face down. And this card acts as like... Um, I guess it's like a second life. Because it, if my blue eyes now gets destroyed, that card, this card here, will get destroyed instead. So I get to keep my blue eyes. Okay, we're building up. Now he's not got any face down cards, so I know I'm okay to attack. But uh, he's got Komodo Dragon. Again, he's got no cards in his hand. And, oh, that's what I forgot to say. This card here. When it's equipped to a normal monster, it inflicts piercing battle damage. So, like, it's in defense mode, but actually I can hit his life points with whatever the difference is. So, I'm trying to explain this as best I can. It's quite... Whew. There's a lot to explain. It's all going on. Right, we're on turn 22 right now. That's pretty insane. So, like I said, it is quite a long duel. And I know that we use, like, most of our cards. Like, I've only got eight cards left. And I've got polymerization. Okay, we're getting close. We are getting close to the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Possibly. Might be. Who knows? <laughs> so, I can't really do a lot at the minute. I, I can't play any cards... He can't play any cards, clearly. Um, so it's kind of just we're drawing and then leaving it. Okay, set the totem dragon, that's okay. But that's it, that's all I can do. Now the totem dragon is... It's like you can use it as two monsters to summon a higher level monster. So I can actually summon my blue eyes now. Or the blue eyes solid dragon, but he's doing something here. He's activating a field spell which allows him to get polymerization. Okay, not good. So I think he's working towards Blue Eyes Ultimate. Oh god. He might be. He might be, I'm not sure. Let's see. He's doing something. Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, and the third one. Here we go. Oof. So I'll leave this as well because this is unbelievable. I love this clip. <laughs> wow. The three-headed Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Originally one of the most powerful cards of all time. Probably still is. It's pretty damn powerful. So I'm going to take a massive hit now. Neutron Blast. So that's my blue eyes dead, but it's not because I've got this card. So that card's gone now. Um, and his field spell is activated, so he's actually called back a blue eyes. Sweet. So he's got 400 life points. I've got 2,200, but he's got a blue eyes ultimate dragon. And I haven't really got anything to stop him. Apart from maybe this. So here we go. I've activated polymerization. <laughs> All five dragons that I owned. Gone. 
and five-headed dragon. Amazing. There's no clip for that, unfortunately. But here we go. The final blow. Yes! Look how sweet that was. Can you believe that? I defeated a blue eyes ultimate dragon with a five-headed dragon. <laughs> Amazing. I thought that was such a good duel. It, it seemed a lot quicker in the replay, but when I was doing it, it, it did not seem to go that fast. But there we go. I win. <laughs> Ragnar. <laughs> so, that's it. Uh, I don't know how long this video is. It's kind of just like a trial run in a way. But, um... There we go, that's my only saved duel as well. Uh, so yeah, I've just been doing stuff like that. And uh, I don't think really have a lot else to say, guys. So I'm probably just going to leave it there. Keep it as like a short video. And uh, just letting you know that I'm back. And I will be doing more videos. So stay tuned. Leave a comment below. Leave a like and all that stuff. Um, and just let me know like what you guys want to watch. If you could, that'd be great. <laughs> Okay, look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.